Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for chapter 14 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, second edition. So in this video, what we're going to do is plot predicted counts from our negative binomial regression model. Um, in the previous video, we looked at calculating predicted counts, um, so now we're going to plot them. So our model only has dummy variables. So we can't do a nice, continuous, smooth line uh, kind of plot. What we need to do is something different. So we're going to do a plot that, that sort of looks like a um, like our regression coefficient plot, somewhat similar to that. Um, OK, so what we're going to do is use First, our ggpredict uh, function to get the predicted counts. Okay, so, so this plot is going to be very similar to the ones we've done before with predicted probabilities, just we're going to use a different function um, to create it, that a different function within ggplot. All right, so we have ggpredict model.nbrm. And we're going to do terms equals tweet, oh, tweet dumb, comma, condition equals C, and then wo uh, woman leader, sorry, woman lead, lead author equals zero, and full prof equals zero. So this is what we ran previously. Okay, so actually let's look at this. In the previous video, this is what we ran. So these are the predicted counts for uh, not a tweet, or sorry, not tweeted, tweeted. Um, when holding woman lead author and full prof at their modes. Okay, so we saw that. We're gonna do piping. Um, and now we're going to use ggplot. So what we, we actually need to do something here um, in order to get the labels for our x-axis, because our x-axis is going to be the tweet dumb. Uh, we could do a mutate before, or we could do it within ggplot. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to switch it up a little, just because there's only two values, so it's a little bit easier than if we were trying to do it with the four values like we did with predictive probabilities and trust. Um, so we're going to do it a little different. Um, okay, so we have ggplot. We're going to do AES and then x equals as underscore factor x. So the ggpredict objects that are created, right, x is our x axis. This is corresponding to tweet dome. Um, because it's 0 and 1, it's reading it as numeric. So if we try to do a plot with um, as is, just do x equals x, then it will um, not give any labels on the x-axis. Which is fine for us because we know what's going on, but trying to show someone, they're going to be like, what's happening down here? All right. So we're going to do x uh, equals as factor x. And then we're going to do y equals predicted. Okay, then plus, and then we're going to use this function, geome point range. Oh, yeah, am I spelling that right? Point range. All right, this is, um, this is going to give us the, uh, a dot, and then we're going to add in uh, the prediction intervals on it. Okay, so... Sorry, the dot is for the predicted counts, and then we're going to get the uh, prediction intervals around those dots. So we're going to do AES Y min equals comp low and Y max equals comp high. Okay, so um, the, re the reason we're using the point range is because we have a dummy variable. All right, 
now we're going to use scale x discrete. All right, this is, so we're going to work on the x axis. It's a discrete variable because it just has two values, right? So we can add the labels here and instead of doing that, instead of using mutate uh, beforehand. So we're going to do labels equals, and then we're going to do C, the concatenate function, and then the zero, which is no tweet, comma, tweet, which is the one. So those correspond to zero. So no tweet corresponds to zero. Tweet corresponds to one. All right. Then plus, we'll add our labels here. We're going to do title equals um, predicted number of article citations, comma, x is our, I'm going to call it whether article was tweeted, and then y is, we could do predict, predicted counts, but we're going to do predicted citations, which are the counts. And then the last thing, we'll, we'll throw in uh, theme minimal again. Okay, so let's highlight all this and run it. Okay, it didn't blow up on us. All right, so this is our plot, our predicted count plot. Um, again, it looks a little different, but these are the point ranges. All right, so we have the dot, that's the predicted value, the predicted count, and then the lines are the prediction intervals. Okay, now, um, you know, we could flip the axes here if we wanted to um, so that they are horizontal, kind of like the, the regression coefficient plot. Um, and we might, you know, we might want to pretty this up some, like change the, the um, y-axis range, something like that. In um, the extra supplemental materials online uh, for the for the book, I also show um, how we would do a a smooth line type of predicted uh, count plot, super 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 similar to the predicted probability ones that we've done before. All right, so that is it for this um, video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.